just to continue on the importance of practice and presence, we are people who are molded and formed and shaped by what we practice in the presence that we keep ourselves in. For example, before I was, well, even dating Julia, I had no desire to drink coffee, right? I actually would scoff at people who drank coffee. But since I started to practice spending a lot of presence with Julia, the former coffee barista that she is, the current coffee lover that she is, guess what I not only do, but I actually have grown to love to do. The practice and presence that we keep matter because they both refine us and they ultimately define us for good or for bad. So the two-part question that Jesus asked for us, of each of us, personally and intimately in John 15, especially in the first six verses, is believer, follower of me, what are you practicing and whose presence are you keeping?